what's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, I have some interesting gaming news for you guys. It does appear that Fortnite Season 5 image has been teased, and it's basically a Kasune mask. So it does look like uh, Fortnite's next season will start on July 12th and it will end on September 20th. That's a pretty decent amount of time and it is really smart of them to release it during the summer when everybody's going to be basically off from school and having a little bit of a break. So yeah, it's kind of smart. It's kind of smart on a part. And I have dumb, okay? So Epic Games Fortnite Season 5 will be starting on July 12th at 1 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of details that is happening about it, but it is appearing to be some type of time rift that's happening. People are seeing screens tearing uh, all over the place, basically. Uh, whenever your people are playing Fortnite, it's happening in the sky, in front of buildings, and stuff like that. So uh, it's not as straightforward, basically, as Season 4, but it does appear that it's going to be something that has to do with space time control so I don't know it, it, it seems kind of interesting I don't particularly enjoy Fortnite myself I know a lot of people are just like Fortnite is the best game ever it's Fortnite I love Fortnite everything about it so awesome if Fortnite came and landed on my head I would say thank you Fortnite for landing on my head I understand some people like Fortnite I personally just can't get with it I'm trying to make I tried to make myself like it I forced it I was like come on you enjoy this game you love it. And I'm like, actually, I don't. I don't in love. I don't love it. I don't want to love you. It's a, it's a good game. I mean, it's pretty creative. You, you got to give them that. It's like they combine like Minecraft with, I don't know what this game is. Uh, it's not not Call of Duties, but you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's got its own little funky genre that it's in. It's, it's created a brand new one, essentially. And this thing is a cash cow. Overwatch is what I was thinking about, but but they, they created a cash cow. This thing makes like $300 million a month. I don't even know how that's possible from a free game. I should make a free game right now. It's like, hey, everybody, it's free. It's called Look at a Wall. And people will be like, oh, man, have you looked at a wall today? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to trash Fortnite. I know a lot of people love it, but I just can't love it that much. I just don't. It's prettier than player known Battlegrounds. I know. I know. It looks way better. And it actually works. So you got to give them credit for that. So Epic Games, uh, uh, look out for Season 5, everybody. So great job. Now, moving on from that, uh, I do want to tell you guys about uh, some Anthem gaming news. So, it does look like Anthem has given us a little bit, well, the people at Bioware basically gave us a little bit more details on the javelins and co-op play and uh, customization. So, people had questions about, like, hey, if you, like, join late, would you get certain rewards and things like that? And basically, Bioware was like, okay, look, 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 look. if you show up late, you probably won't get the same amount of cool beans as everybody else who's been playing the whole entire level. But they're going to give you something. They said something. You're going to get something not just not as cool as what everybody else is going to get. They're, they're trying to to encourage people to, to kind of join late if someone drops or gets booted. And even the people who get booted can have a certain time window to come back to still be able to get their uh, their rewards. So if you've been playing it for a long time and all of a sudden you just get booted because a thunderstorm happened and you're like, oh, it flickered for a second and you lost your connection. Don't worry, you do have a short time window to actually get back. That's really cool in their part because a lot of people didn't want, didn't want to actually do that for you. Uh, but yeah, they basically said you're going to get something if you come late but uh for the most part all the cool beans are going to be for everybody who showed up automatically they also said they don't know if it's going to run at 4k 60 frames a second on xbox one x that's a little disappointing considering that it's the world's most powerful console and then you got the playstation 4 pro and you're kind of like oh well we'll just i don't know like have some sort of system parody i'm like what's the point of getting an xbox one x if you got to have system parody with a game like this if, it's, if it can be maxed out, max the game out. I don't understand what the problem is and why they're trying to make this so difficult. They probably shouldn't do that. Uh, but they did give us a little bit more information about the double uh, about the javelins. They do have the ability to strife and uh, they can move full. Uh, they can fly backwards, but they can't move backward while hovering. Uh, the the javelins do overheat so you have to try and cool them off or basically it just makes you go towards the ground it doesn't kill you in the middle of the air uh, they're gonna have enemies that can actually attack you in the air and i find that really cool because it's like you can't just fly over everything and like destiny you could just hop on your little hovercraft and just fly over everything and everyone's just looking at you like well 
I guess he's just going to be leaving. And so, yeah, I think it's really good that they're actually uh, having a counterattack for that. And I do believe that the enemy, uh, the enemies in the game do have like some type of javelins of their own. So that makes it interesting when you can fight uh, against the enemies and they have javelins that can do Similar stuff to what you can do. I, I find that to be a little bit more challenging. So, yeah, uh, I'm a super excited about, uh, you know, this game. And uh, they did release one more detail that I found to be really interesting. Anthem's producer, Mike Gamble, did say that we will get shot in the face a lot. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, after seeing their long uh, 4K gameplay footage that we got to see for about, what, 19, 20 minutes, People saw it and they were like, this game looks absurdly easy. It looks like, uh, you know, with the cool 100, 100, 100 ultimate combo. People were like, why does it look like this game isn't going to be much of a challenge? And when I was watching the trailer and I saw it myself and uh, I looked at it and I was like, I get the feeling that these people aren't really in any kind of danger. There's no... There's no stress. You don't feel like you have to run for your life. I mean, even Destiny gave you instances like that, like Omni Ghoul or, you know what I'm saying, something like that. But, you know, Google off or, you know, you have this this tension where you need to run. And if you don't run, you know, uh, Crota, you don't run inside the room, you're not you're going to die. It's, it's basically over. They don't give you that tension in the whole entire preview. You just feel like it's kind of like a bullet sponge spider. You shoot it and it's going to go through its little cycle. And then after that, you're just going to win. There's nothing you're going to do. It's going to make you lose. Well, they came up with uh, an, a response to that. So basically, he did say that uh, these were their their top developers and they were the very best with high level gear. Uh, they did that intentionally so that they didn't die throughout the whole entire uh, demo. So basically, they said that you will be challenged. You will be shot in the face a lot. On top of that, he also said that you can go anywhere day one at launch, but you shouldn't because as soon as you do, you're going to get your butt kicked. I appreciate that. So they said that you can go everywhere. You probably shouldn't. I enjoy that. I enjoy that because that's saying that this is a true open world. You can go to some places, but your your javelin is going to be so weak, you're going to get stomped out as soon as you show up. That, that's a lot better than having a big glass wall because then you kind of feel like it's not really as open as it should be. So this game is already uh, doing some really cool pioneering type stuff. They, they didn't really allude to much of a level change or a level bump to say like, hey, uh, this is a level cap. But it does appear that uh, the gear is basically going to determine that. Now, moving on from that, and this is my final bit of gaming news. Uh, if you guys are interested in Darksiders, it does look like Darksiders 3 release day collector's editions have been announced. So it will be released on November 27th for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. So THQ, uh, they did release this information out there and then say that the game is basically going to be 60 bucks, but the collector's edition is going to be $149.99. And it's going to include an 11-inch tall Fury figurine, premium box, steel book, art book case, soundtrack, exclusive armor, DLC, com, you know, cosmetics. Blah, blah, blah. But they have an Apocalypse Edition, which is going to cost $400. Huh? Huh? Sorry. It's going to run $399. Huh? And it's going to include the latter four items and plus a copy of the game as well as his own premium box. And a 30 inch by 40 inch wall scroll with hanger and two inch heavyweight amulet with the necklace and four figurines 11 inches tall war death death vulgum blah 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 okay this is entirely too expensive for a collector edition now i can i like some collector edition and many of you guys know uh most of my background stuff is is pretty i have some really cool items to me titanfall gave out the best collector's edition items they just did they gave out some really sharp stuff but outside of them, I mean, like giving you a giant glowing helmet, you get things like the, the, the Terminator ones, but I wouldn't pay no $400 for some figurines. I mean, Call of Duty gave you the juggernaut. They gave you a refrigerator. I know I have it. They gave you a refrigerator. A refrigerator. But they don't give you some figurines? 
I mean, I like figurines like the next guy, but they're at GameStop for like fifteen bucks. I, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna trash it. I'm not gonna do it. And the steel bookcases, don't get me started on that because no one's like check out my really cool steel bookcase. At least Destiny gave you a book with the game inside of a book, which I thought was pretty cool. But still, come on, people, step it up from the figurines. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. So you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. And I'll holla at y'all later.